Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the view. What is view? How we can make it, how we can call it and how we can pass the data to the view. We will see everything that is related to the view in Laravel. So uh, this is my output screen here. You can see that and this is my coding screen here. We will make an example for the view. So now first question is that what is view? So view basically a part of MVC here. You can just pronounce it model view controller, right? So view is basically present in the Laravel as well as any MVC framework like Zend or cake PHP, YII, every framework have the view. So what we will do in the view, we will put our HTML part in the view that we want to show to the user. So here you can see that the laravel logo and some text and some link and some icons these are everything is present inside the laravel view so if you just want to check it then you can check it inside the resource view and welcome.blade.php right this space is just generate the this output so now the question is how we can make the view and how we can just show the created view here so for that i am just going to create a new file inside the views and let's make a new file so let's say my view name is uh, users dot blade dot php right so please keep in mind blade is actually not a part of mvc or I, neither it's part of view this is a templating engine and which is provided by the Laravel, right? So we will learn about the blade uh, templating engine also in upcoming videos. But in this video, we will focus only on the view. So on this part, I'm just going to make some text like uh, hello user, right? So, and now I just want to see this uh, uh, file as an output here so that we need to make a view or we can call it from the so we can just uh, make a routing for it or we can just call it from the controller. We will see both of the way how we can just call it from the routing and as well as how we can call it from the controller. But first of all, we will check it out from the routing. So now let's go to the routes file, web.php and just create a, so first of all, you can just replace this uh, users file with the welcome. And now you will find that when you just refresh it, your page is rendered here right so why this is rendered because at the base url which is there is a no like page like home and about and user that's why on a base url we are able to see our page so let's just revert it you can again see a welcome page and uh, now let's make our route for it right so you can just make route like this view you can make it get and in the get let's uh, pass here a uh, URL like user and uh, in the second parameter you can just make a function right we call it anonymous function because this function don't have any name that's why this is anonymous so just return view and here we can put here uh, sorry users right you don't man need to mention here blade.php. This is by uh, automatically understand by the Laravel. So now let's put here users, right? Oh, okay, what I just write here, user. So just you can make it user, user here. And our user's view is rendered here, right? So there is a one more way to put the uh, route like this. You can just directly simply put here route view your URL and your view name, right? And it will work as the same. But this uh, syntax actually have a limitation that we cannot pass the data uh, from the URL to view with this syntax. So that I'm just going to make it comment. And here I am going to put here a parameter like uh, name or ID whatever you want dollar name and let's pass it to the view 
and the second parameter let's make an array and just put here a name as an key and value will be the dollar name right now in the blade.php just simply put here dollar name right and here you can see that we are able to get a user name also like hello anil hello sam whatever you want right and uh, even you can change this name like user and if you just uh, change this name use key here then you just need to make here user also right you can put any name to the array key this is still working fine so now uh, what is the next thing that we learn how we can make a view what is the view how we can call it how we can pass the data but yet we did not see that how we can call it from the controller right so for that i am just going to clear my command line and I'm going to make a controller just like right, right, php artisan make controller and controller name can be users controller hit the enter our controller is created inside the app http controller and here it is right so we can make a function here so let's put a function name like uh, load view right because we want to load our view here make it return view and our view file name which is users like this right and uh, we are not actually passing the data here so that i am just uh, commenting it out and uh, just right here uh, hello from user right anything that you want to return here and now let's uh, just put here oh one more thing that we need to just mention here route for this controller right so let's uh, go to the web.php and define a route for uh, controller also but before that we need to import it so just write here use app http controllers and controller name is users controller right put a semicolon and now just uh, put here a simple root for it uh, route and uh, you can just put here uh, uh, get request here and uh, just uh, comment the first view route and just put here user and uh, in the second parameter let's put their uh, imported controller name colon colon and in the colon we can put here class and uh, here in the second key we can just put here our function name which is load view and just simply write here load view make it semicolon at the last right so now let's see this is working fine or not now you can see that this is still working fine that's great so how we can pass the data uh, from controller to the view now right so for that you can do two things you can just put the, some static data here like dollar uh, like uh, you can simply put pass here name like uh, name can be anil sithu right and you can just fetch it here like hello dollar name right and uh, you can refresh it and even you can pass uh, this uh, data from the url also for that you need to just pass the parameter as uh, and route also so just put here uh, like name and uh, now in the controller you can just simply put here dollar name and here oh my bad just use dollar name as the static uh, and replace the static name and now you can see that if you put here bruce you can see that hello bruce hello tony hello peter 
right so this is the way that how we can use the view and we can call it from the controller as well as from the view so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and here at the last we have an interview question so in this video i will ask the two interview questions first one is why i uh, don't make the did not make the view, view with the command line because uh, when i just made the controller we make it with the command line but why uh, we are not make the view with the command line and, and the second question is so let's say i'm just going to put here my wrong or uh, misspell view name then you can see that we got a uh, error here so can we just check that the view is uh, available or not in our code before just calling it right so is it possible if yes then how if no then why and that's all for a moment bye bye take care and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye